Welcome to the Windows channel and in this uh, quick video on the basics of computers explained we're going to check out what's a gigahertz and what does it mean when you look at a CPU and it says X gigahertz so I was you know this week showing you that in the task manager when you go into performance and the CPU you could see the CPU speed and you see here you know it says at the top that 2.5 gigahertz and speed at the bottom which is switching between different gigahertz and um, a lot of you don't exactly know what that means so first of all a gigahertz or let's start with the basics a Hertz is a measurement of frequency one Hertz means a frequency of one um, in a CPU basically you would say that the frequency gives it one pulse every second it has one instruction that it can process every second technically a gigahertz is simply a multiplication computers started slow you know uh, my Commodore 64 had one megahertz that is one million Hertz that means that the clock speed of that CPU is one million a second so it technically can process one million instructions a second it's not exactly that because there are skipped um, clocks and um, I'll explain a little bit why later gigahertz well computers are extra fast today so the CPUs are in gigahertz today that means billions of Hertz or the processor can basically uh, receive billions of instructions per second which is an amazing feat when you think about it so a lot of the CPUs today will be sold to you so if you look at you know specs on a computer oh this is a 3 gigahertz processor oh this is a 2 gigahertz processor it means normally technically the 3 gigahertz processor means your computer your processor the brain of your computer processes information faster at 3 gigahertz than it does at 2 gigahertz um, say you're at 1.5 gigahertz and 3 gigahertz one of the common misconceptions is oh that computer is twice as fast as this one and that's where it's a big mistake to think like that and that's why computer makers kind of try to lure us into this language and make us think that it's twice as fast but it's not at all so if you you know in the in the best in the best world every time there's a clock so in for example one Hertz every second there's a pulse there's a possibility for that CPU to process one instruction and keep in mind that one instruction is only one instruction programs have millions of instructions to do what they do just showing this text on my screen there's millions of instructions behind it on the pro for the processor to just do that and now you got a processor running at gigahertz that means it's faster the problem is in the real world each clock cycle would have one instruction being sent and processed by the CPU in the real world lots of what your computer is doing is waiting in the real world for example when your computer is access needs to access your hard drive hard drive is slow the processor will typically wait because okay I gotta wait for the instructions to arrive so you're losing clock cycles in there so a 3 gigahertz computer compared to a 1.5 gigahertz computer isn't twice as fast 
it may be 20% faster. Yeah, as, as small as that, 20% faster. So, yes, we tend to look at processors that have the highest speed because it technically means it can process more s instructions every second. But it isn't as fast as we try to, th you know, as we think or as we, they try to tell us. So that's why people, for example, that want to overclock their CPU, they say, yeah, I'm going to go overclock from 3 to 3.5. Well, you're getting like 3 or 4% more speed. It's barely noticeable. And um, that's because the computer is waiting all the time. The CPU is waiting for instructions all the time because parts of your computer are too slow to go with the CPU. Uh, I remember talking about um, motherboards with um, a friend of mine and telling him technically that the CPUs are way too fast for what the motherboard can handle. And that the motherboards haven't gone up in speed enough for really giving us tr the true power of these CPUs. So a gigahertz is one billion hertz. It's one billion cycles per second in the CPU. That means in the very best world, it could handle one billion instructions a second. And the real world probably handles half of that, maybe less. Why? simply because it's waiting all the time for the computer to do other tasks and send them, send the CPU instructions. And the ins instructions, well, that's what makes your computer do all those these things. Running Windows, running software, showing you pages on the internet. Um, it's through that that it can calculate and do everything that you see. So I hope that it kind of cleared up a little bit, um, you know, I've put it at the simplest. There are a little more complex issues than that, but at the simplest, um, it's a speed limit of your CPU, basically. So if three gigahertz CPU, that's the speed limit of that processor. It cannot go faster than that. It technically is slower than if you had a four gigahertz CPU. But don't be fooled in thinking that, you know, between one number and the other, it's a huge difference. It's not necessarily a huge difference. There's a lot of other factors that decide the speed of your computer, including the CPU itself. All CPUs or all processors are not equal. One processor will actually have the possibility to work more instructions for each cycle, each billion cycles than other CPUs. It depends on how it's constructed. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe to my channel. you will be informed when new videos are online. Give us thumbs up and uh, hopefully you enjoy this uh, little series.